Hey guys, Cast72 here. It's been a little while. Hope everyone's doing well. And um, just wanted to share with you uh, a change I made on what I ride. Um, I still have my Virago. And I still got my project bike, the Interceptor. Um, but this is the new guy. And it was a sad thing, but I had to let go of my R3. Uh, just... You know, as you can see back there, the 750. Let me zoom in on that for you. See that? That's what I originally was comfortable riding. Uh, I went with the R3 because I kind of wanted to try a new style of bike. And I, it grew interest. It had a lot of good reviews, which by the way, it's an awesome bike. It's an awesome bike. Um, I have no complaints with it whatsoever, other than just me wanting to have a little bit more power underneath um what i was writing so with that being said unfortunately i went ahead and traded in my r3 and got the yamaha mt09 which is a much bigger engine uh, they'll tell you at the dealership it's a 900 cc but it's about an 847 um, as you can see from the beginning of the video those were specs that i actually took from the manufacturer book manufacturers um catalog the book uh the other thing that triggered my my thought in purchasing this bike was that remember I made a video back and I told you guys that that interceptor was something I was working on which I still am by the way I haven't given up on it but if if you look at the front you see how the front looks like a wasp a bug a bug's head if you will that was my whole intentions as I stated before, these fairings, a lot of this stuff is custom that I've been working on little by little. Um, I'm not far from getting it complete, but it's still in, nonetheless uh, in the project stage. So with that being said, now look at this guy. It's got the exact same fairing, of course, ob obviously different type of style, but it looks like a bug's head. And I love the cut color scheme. So let's try not to make this into a long story, but the purpose for me going to the dealership to begin with, and I'm gonna make a video on that shortly, um, is I purchased a new helmet, and in purchasing that helmet, I uh, ordered a, a, um, a uh, colored lens, uh, kind of a black lens for it. So they had to order it for me, and then they, finally called me up and said, hey, it's ready, come pick it up. So when I was, when I had time, first of all, and I was able to get off work, um, I went ahead and went over and picked it up. Well, while I was waiting for my service guy to go grab the part for me, this bike caught my attention. And I had no thoughts whatsoever on buying it at all, whatsoever. But the more I looked at it, and the more I started seeing it, and I went over the specs, and while he was pulling the part, you know, I Googled some of the information on it. I got more interested. Well, long story short, I ended up walking out with this bike, which I'm not regretting at all. I love it. It handles extremely well. It's got a lot of good reviews. And in my honest opinion, you can't go wrong with this bike because honestly, I would say it's in between what you would want in a racer bike and I would say probably a comfortable ride it has both it definitely has a hell of a lot of power um, and the riding position is so much more comfortable than the R3 and uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys uh, I got some uh, new equipment for this specific bike because the R3, you know, because of the uh, it being a 250, anytime you beef up to another bike with a lot more power, you kind of want to invest in a couple of um, protective gear that kind of is recommended for bikes at higher speeds. That's just my honest opinion. You know, you can be fine with basic uh, riding uh, equipment on a 250 but when you jump from a 250 to a 750 or in this case an 800 cc bike 
Um, yeah, you're gonna wanna start investing in a little bit more better equipment. So I've got some videos coming out on that. And today I just wanted to go over the bike with you, just kind of show you what it looks like. Um, I'll go over some more details with it on some future videos. I like the fact that it's got ABS controlled tracking. Um, other than that, I, I just got it, guys. I literally only have about, oh, I don't know. I think only about 34 miles on it. Let's see. Yeah, 34 miles on it. So it's brand spanking new. Um, haven't had time to really ride it. The Texas here in weather's, I mean, I'm sorry, the weather here in Texas has been kind of a little gloomy. I know I hadn't been making videos. It's been about two months, um, but I had a couple of things I had to take care of. Unfortunately, we lost Sparky. Uh, that was a sad thing. He was with us for 16 years. That's my pet dog, uh, Miniature Pincher. He finally passed on and it was very sad and I do miss him um, and aside from that just work and everything else in life just kind of got me busy but I'm back guys I got some more videos coming out and this is one I just wanted to share no more R3 we're now riding a uh, MT-09 Yamaha 2018 so look out for some videos and some updates. Uh, I've got some stuff coming up with my Yamaha 250. Um, I'm planning on probably repainting it. And as far as the VF, all I gotta do to that guy is uh, install the carb and put a new battery and order some new tires for it. And pretty much it's ready to go. So that should be complete here not too long from now. So. All right, I won't go on, guys. I hope I didn't bore you. I just wanted to give you a quick update. I hope everyone's doing well. And to it, today is Thanksgiving. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Thanksgiving with their loved ones and their family and friends. And this is Cast 72, guys. Peace out.